اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم I seek refuge with Allah Almighty from Satan, the rejected one. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim By the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala muhammadiyo wa ala alihi wa salam. Inshallah, today we will ponder on the first ruku of chapter 3, Surah Ali Imran. It is a madni surah. The revelation order of this surah is 89. There are 200 verses in this chapter with 20 rukus. The name of the surah is mentioned in verse 33 of this chapter, that is, Ali Imran. Hazrat Imran al Islam was the father of Maryam al Islam, while Maryam al Islam was the mother of Isa al Islam. It is evident from the name of the chapter that we will learn various things about Maryam al Islam and Isa al Islam. With this imploration, may Allah Almighty help us in understanding the true insight of the Holy Quran with respect to His beloved Prophet Rahmat al Alami sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Let us start the today's session, Surah Al Imran, Ruku number one, which is comprised of verses one to nine. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alif Lam Mi. Alif Lam Mi. Such words are called Haruf e Mukattiyat, which are spelled separately. Six chapters in the Holy Quran start with the word Alif Lam Mi. They are chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 3, Surah Al-Imran, chapter 29, Surah Al-Ankabud, chapter 30, Surah Al-Rum, chapter 31, Surah Luqman, and chapter 32, Surah Al-Sajda. There are different opinions about these words. First, since the meanings of the words were not mentioned publicly by Rahmat al Alami, Therefore, any attempt in this regard is poor stepping. And Allah and His Prophet know the true meaning. Number two, some researchers argue that since contemplation on these words have not been forbidden, therefore one may attempt to understand them. Some have tried to comprehend these words, but Allah and His Prophet no matter whether these endeavors are close to the meaning or not. Whereas the spiritual scholars say that these words are like the microfilms and they have all the knowledge in them which is present in the surah. Allah and His Prophet bestow the meaning to whomever they like. Allahu la ilaha illa huwal hayul kayyum. Allah, there is no deity except Him, the ever-living, the sustainer, Ilah, caterer, sustainer of His creation. In this verse, some attributes of Allah Almighty are discussed. He is the true deity who is fulfilling all the needs of His creatures and He does not require any assistance for this task. Every creature is dependent on Him, He is ever-living and the sustainer. Because of him, there is life everywhere in this universe. His attributes are spread all over this universe and they all are manifesting the Lordship of Allah Almighty. Therefore, servitude is only to him and there is no one like him. Nazala alaykal kitaba bil haqqi Diverge the book upon you with truth, Musaddi Kalima, Baina Yadehi, Ba Anzala Torata, Bal Injil, confirming what has been before it and revealed Torah and Gospel. Nazala, reveal, send down, diverge. Musaddi the one verifying, confirming, authenticating. Allah Almighty has not left his creatures after their creation, but also has furnished the system for their guidance, so that everyone can attain the purpose of life. For this, Allah Almighty sent down His messengers with the scriptures. These messengers educated the people to solve their matters 
with the divine books. Due to this reason, Torah was revealed to Musa al-Islam and gospel was sent to Isa al-Islam. Min kablu hudal nin nasi wa anzal al-furqan. Before it, the guidance for people and revealed criterion. Inna lazina kafaru bi ayatillahi lahum azabun shadeed. Those who negate the signs of Allah for them will be severe punishment. Wallahu azizun zuntikam. And Allah is the exalted who requites. Intikam, requite retribution. Before the arrival of Holy Prophet وسلم, these scriptures that is Torah and Gospel were the regulation and guidance for the mankind. The Holy Prophet وسلم, is the last Prophet. The Prophethood is completed on him. The Holy Quran is revealed to Holy Prophet وسلم, which is the final scripture. It preserves a teaching of the previous divine books and is the guardian of their subjects. Therefore, in order to get absolution, one has to adhere the Quranic class in accordance with the footprints of the Holy Prophet Those who refrain from this reality will face the consequence of their action. As mentioned in Chapter 5, Surah Al-Maidah, verse 48. We have sent down to you the book with truth confirming the books before it and a protector for it. Allah Almighty himself is safeguarding the Holy Quran and it is free from any errors as given in chapter 15, Surah Al-Hijr, verse 9. The translation is, Indeed, it is we who has sent down the Quran and indeed we are its guardian. Inna Allah la yaqfa alayhi Shayyum, verily, from Allah nothing is hidden. Fil ardi wala fil samai, in earth and not in heavens. Yaqfa, secret, hidden. Since Allah Almighty is the real deity and Lord, therefore nothing is hidden from Him. According to chapter 3, Surah Al Imran, verse 29, it is mentioned, say, whether you conceal what is in your hearts or reveal it, Allah will know it. He knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. Allah is powerful over everything. Similarly, in chapter 33, Surah al aza verse 54, it is mentioned whether you reveal a thing or conceal it. Allah has knowledge of all things. Therefore, if we have a conviction that Allah Almighty is everywhere, He is watching us, neither our actions nor our proclamations are hidden from Him. Even our intentions are evident to Him. Then how can one perform the bad deeds? Huwallazi yusavirukum fil arhami kaifa yashau. It is He who portrays you in the wombs as He wills. La ilaha illa huwal azizul hakim. There is no deity but him, the exalted all wise. Yusuf shapes you up. Al arham booms. One of the signs of Allah Almighty is the shaping of child in the mother's womb. How amazing is this that a single drop of semen passes through different stages of creation and transforms into a baby. How interesting is this fact, even though the creational process is same, but the size, color and appearance are totally different. One of the attributes of Allah Almighty is portraiture and He has shaped up everything according to its assigned character. In chapter 40, Surah al mumin verse 64, it is illustrated. It is Allah who has given you the earth as a resting place and the heavens as a canopy. He shaped you, formed you well and provided you with good things. That is Allah, your Lord. So glory to be Him, the Lord of the worlds. Although the procedure of creation is same, but the appearance, heights, colors, body structures 
are totally different. As mentioned in chapter 82, Surah Al-Infitar, verse 8, in whatever form he willed, has costed you. There is no one like him, the true creator who molds his creation in the wombs. Those who do not believe on him, they should be cautious as everything is under his jurisdiction and his divine laws are prevailing in the universe. According to them, good deeds have beautiful consequence, while bad acts have the wretched compensation. Anzala Alekal Kitaba. It is he who has revealed you the book Minhu Ayatum Mokamatun Hunna Ummul Kitabi Wa Ukharu Mutashabi Hat. In it are the verses Mokamat, which are the foundation of the book, and others are Mutashabi Hat. Mokamat, absolutely clear. Ummul Kitab, foundation of the book. Mutashabi Hat. Alipharical. There are two types of verses in this book. Mokamat, that is, which are absolutely clear. Mutashabihat, that is, whose meanings are explained in an allegorical way. So that those who ponder can understand them. Differentiating the words into different categories by oneself is absolutely wrong. It is known to the student of the Holy Quran that its verses have been made easy by Almighty Allah. The important thing is pondering or meditation. As mentioned in chapter 7, Surah al araf verse 52, translation is, And indeed, we brought to them a book which we have explained in detail with a great knowledge, a guidance and a mercy for people who believe. While in chapter 41, Surah Fusilat, verse 3, it is given a book, the words of which are explained in detail, the Quran in explicit form for the people of intellect. This scripture is for all mankind, whoever ponders on its verses in an unbiased manner with eagerness can benefit from its wisdom accordingly. In chapter 54, Surah al kamar this verse has been iterated many times. Walakat yasrna Qurana zikri pahal mim mudakke. Translation, we have made this Quran easy. As a reminder, is there anyone who takes heed? It is evident from the Holy Quran that its comprehension increases gradually. Therefore, at the start, only a few verses are understood. But with patience and determination, the wisdom of the Quranic student increases progressively. And those verses which were mutashabihat to the reader at first start transforming into a category of mokamat. And those verses which were mutashabihat to the reader at first start transforming into the category of mokamat. The verse continues. Those who have perversity in their heart. Adhere those which have resemblance in it to seek dissension and to seek its interpretation. Zaygon, perversity, obstinacy, abtigaa, seeking, tabilihi. Interpretation Those folks who have obstinacy in their hearts, they try to seek the meaning of mutashabihad in order to spread corruption and discord within the society. They try to get the meaning of their own. Such perception is listed in chapter 7, Surah Al Araf, verse 45, and similarly in chapter 11, Surah Hud, verse 19. Translation is Those who prevent from the path of Allah and would have it crooked and who are disbelievers in the hereafter. The verse continues. And no one knows the correct interpretation except Allah. And those who have firm knowledge say, 
we believe on them they are from our lord wama yazakkaru illa ulul albab and not takes heed except those who are men of understanding ar rasikhun entrenched in grain reached in depth the true meaning of holy quran is only known to allah almighty and his beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they bestow to whomever they desire those who have firm knowledge that is those who have the spiritual enlightenment they know that whatever is occurring in this world whatsoever will happen in hereafter whatever was happened before coming to this world whatever will be manifested after departure from this world whatsoever will revive in the next realm whatever is going in morning afternoon or night and whatsoever ensues has ensued or will ensue they all are from allah almighty this perception invokes the state of detachment or istagna in the man the state of detachment or istagna does not mean to leave everything instead it requires patience determination and continuous efforts and leaving the final results in the hand of allah almighty and embrace the result with open mind in chapter 4 surah al-nisa verse 162 it is mentioned about the people with entrenched knowledge that is but those among them who are firm in knowledge and who have faith believe in what is sent down upon you and what was sent down before you and those who believe in allah the day of resurrection to such we shall soon bestow a great reward rabbana ta tuzik qulubana ba'da is hadaitana our lord do not obstinate our hearts after giving the guidance wa hablana min ladunka rahma and grant us from yourself mercy innaka antal waha indeed you are the bestower Have grant accord the dunka from yourself, from you, Al Baha, want to accord comfort. Those people with firm knowledge implores, O Lord, do not stray us from the right path after the guidance, and bless upon us your mercy. Rabbana inna ka jamiu nasi yomil la reba fi. Our Lord, indeed, you will gather people on one day in which there is no doubt. Inna Allah la yuqliful miyad. Verily, Allah never breaks His promise. Jamiyun, gather al miyad, undertaking promise. Those people with entrenched knowledge know that after death, everyone is presented to his Lord for the accountability of his deeds, and after that. he will taste the consequence of his actions as mentioned in chapter 4 surah al-nisa verse 87 the translation is allah there is none worthy of worship except him he will surely gather you all on the day of resurrection in which there is no doubt and whose words are more true than those of allah almighty A summary of the ruku. Allah Almighty is the real creator and owner of this universe. Everything functions as per His design. He is fulfilling all the needs of His creations. His attributes are spread over in the multiverses in diverse form. Servitude is only to Him. Allah has sent down His messengers with scriptures for the guidance of mankind. He divulged Torah to Musa alayhi salam and gospel to Isa alayhi salam. The prophethood is completed on the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the Holy Quran is revealed to us from Allah Almighty by the grace of Nabi Pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This book signifies the previous scriptures and is the protector of their perception. Now the guidance and salvation for everyone is subjected with adherence to Quranic teaching, according to the life pattern of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah Almighty grant us true understanding of the Holy Quran 
and may we act upon it according to the sunnah of Allah's beloved Prophet Nabi Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sadaqallahul Aliyul Azim, Allah spoke truth, the exalted, the great. Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Habibi Muhammadiyo wa Alihi Wasallam. 